Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh. Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. industrial area. Why am I here? Only way forward. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became... unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. For me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why. But part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. I saw it's him! I heard something!
Bill. This elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. No power. Figures. Okay. Looks like that elevator needs power. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the docks, then that's where I'm... No! Hit. Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene... You're not going to be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. just went out, but Hatch wants a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never... What was that? <laughs> just give up. Wait, you know me? What's going on? I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. 
They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. <sighs> oh, I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. Locked. Ah, okay, there must be a gate control. Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That can be fixed. I saw them on the way in, these geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay. Oh, well, something new to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. We're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. Okay, well, I'll fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces together, it all goes banana pancakes. <laughs> so everyone thinks that Monarch is flying by this. So Paul founded Monarch. Is that another one of those rewind things? Window's pretty high up, but I think it's the only way in. Made it. Now to get to that door. Hello? Did you forget about me in there? Finally. Good work. I Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound to make Clarice. I'm going to use the terminal up here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. And they forced me to do it. I, I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have done. That map over there should help you figure out a route. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. 
I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah. I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay. Stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah. You too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Asta! Did I scream enough for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Joyce, you got nowhere to go! Jack, I found a radio. You okay? Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Oh, great. Shotgunner advancing on hostile! Mother... Yeah. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do 
do I get it open? Turn off security.